How to Print and Mail Using the Service Bureau. This tutorial will show you how to generate an upload to send to the Service Bureau for printing and mailing to recipients. By this step, you should have imported your data and then ensured your information is accurate. Under the second step entitled Printing and Mailing, click on Via the Service Bureau. Then, click on Printing and Mailing or eDelivery Upload, located at the top of your screen to initiate a helpful wizard that will guide you through the upload process. After carefully reading the informational screen, click Check for Updates to ensure that you're running the most current version of your software. If there is a software update, please apply it before proceeding. The IRS requires that you have unique account numbers on every form. If you don't already have account numbers, simply press Start the Generate Accounts Wizard at the bottom of the screen. If you already have account numbers, please disregard the next few steps. Read the first information screen, then press Next. You can select the filers for which you would like to generate account numbers. For this example, we'll leave the default option selected, All Forms for All Filers. Press Next. Confirm the settings and press Finish to create account numbers for your filers. A pop-up window will appear telling you how many forms were scanned and account numbers generated. Press OK. Press the Begin button at the lower right corner of the screen to continue. In the next screen, select the filers you wish to upload. You choose from All of My Filers, Your Current Filer, or Selected Tagged Filers. Next, pick form types. The choices here are all form types, your current form type, or the select tag form types. The Service Bureau suggests selecting all of my filers and all form types if you're ready to send all of your records for printing. This action will grab everything at once in one easy upload. Select whether you are sending originals or corrections. Please remember that forms are only considered corrections if they have already been filed to the IRS and you are submitting a second corrected file. Choose which upload action option you will be using. Additional information may be required if you're choosing anything other than print and mail the forms. Make sure you've spoken to our Service Bureau if you are opting for electronic delivery or web presentment. In this example, choose the default, print and mail the forms. Select if you'd like to skip forms with zero dollar amounts under thresholds. This option will ensure that forms without dollar amounts are not selected in the process. Enter or edit your contact information. Now select your printer. At the bottom of the screen are some extra options that you may want to adjust. Tin masking is used to mask the recipient's social security number. If you would like all social security numbers to be masked on your forms, click this button and choose Mask All Recipient SSN and EIN. The benefit of this option is added security for your recipients. Masking the social security number will only show the last four digits of the recipient's SSN. The default setting displays all digits of the SSN or EIN. Error Scan will scan your data for common formatting errors. The Extra Print options allows you to print a message on your forms for corrections and copies. The Folder button allows you to select where your upload will save. In most cases, you will want to save your upload to the default location. Click Create File when you are finished. A pop-up screen will appear asking you to confirm your data before uploading to the Service Bureau. After reading the top of the screen carefully, click on the View Control Totals Report button under Step 1. Your report will appear in a new window. Please read the instructions on the first page carefully, then confirm your totals on the following page or pages. Now close the window. You can save a copy of the report to your computer by pressing Save Control Totals Report to the selected location. You will then need to re-enter the total number of forms you are uploading under Step 2. Now that you have verified that your control totals are correct, 
Type in your name as a digital signature under Step 3. You are now ready to begin the upload process. Press Upload My File at the bottom of the screen. After reading the instructions on the first screen, click Next. Select the preferred upload method. The Service Bureau suggests the default option, built-in HTTPS Secure Transfer, to securely send your data to the Service Bureau over the Internet. If the first method fails due to your internal firewall, we suggest you try the second option, built-in FTP using the Internet. If you choose Manual Transfer, you're going to be prompted to choose a location where a file will be created that you will send us via website or email to sb at 1099pro.com. Press Next to continue. Verify the information is correct on the screen. Make sure you have selected the correct printer and click Upload Now to send your file to the Service Bureau. Another window will pop up informing you the file was uploaded successfully. Press OK to continue. You will now be able to see your uploaded session listed. Notice that the status of your session is listed as Done HTTPS. An upload form summary will appear in a separate window. This report confirms the file was created and successfully uploaded. Finally, our Service Bureau will contact you once your forms have been received and processed. Thank you.